Hi people, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited today because I'm starting my very first YouTube series called Code with Re, and it's going to be in English. So if you need Mongolian subtitles, make sure you turn them on now. And if you're new here, I'm Re, CS senior student in Hungary, and I love to vlog at different parts of my life. So the most of my contents are in Mongolian. However, I'm going to switch things up for this series. So today I'm going to build my personal portfolio website and I hope it's going to be a simple, very basic HTML, CSS structured website. And um, But it's not going to be a super educational tutorial. It's just a more chill and fun way to uh, documenting my coding journey. But I'll talk through everything as I go. So grab your drink, get comfy and build with me. All right, so what I'm planning to have on my website is uh, about section, education, experience, and project and work section for now. But I'm also thinking about maybe adding some blog section where I could uh, share my thoughts or also I could add some services part because I also tutor students, but it's still just an idea. So before jumping into the code, I want to have the rough idea of what I'm building. So let's sketch some of the layouts first. So now that we have a sketch, uh, let's make a prototype in Figma, but it's also going to be a very basic one because I just want to see some color matching and layout. So that's all. So here's the thing guys, I have spent almost two hours on this very basic Figma design which didn't turn out good, it looks so ugly and I forgot that I'm very bad at designing stuff. I thought that I could do this but no, it looks so ugly. So initially I had this thing in my mind like my cat Ivy will be like a virtual assistant on my website so she will be like helping users to navigate through the pages you know with some animation but like even with her emoji like my cat's emoji it doesn't look good to me and just overall design is so ugly for now i'm so sorry guys for disappointing you i'm just gonna use some cheat codes by copying other people's design but i think it's gonna be all right anyways let's do some research and i'm just gonna choose a very basic very simple one without my cat's animation and everything it's gonna be just a simple one and then that's that My eyes hurting right now. Now it's 2.40 and I'm almost done with my Figma prototype. I'm not gonna complete it because I think I can add more text or designs as I go and I don't think that's very important here. Um, I ran out of water and also I need to eat something. I'm hungry and yeah, I just need to refill my energy because I'm pretty tired right now. It's now 2.39 a.m. And I have spent almost 
three hours on this new design and I've been trying to make it look perfect, but I think that's not going to work. I had to research a lot of people's um, website and I want to like make it perfect as possible, but it's not going to work. Um, but I think I'm pretty satisfied with the design that I have now. However, my education section and experience section looks so empty because I'm graduating this summer, so obviously I don't have any degree other than that. So now we have a concept of design, so it's time to dive into the coding part and um, let's start with setting up uh, our github repo so that i can track my progress and also keep everything backed up and yeah it's also gonna make my deployment much easier i hope so first i'll initialize a git repo Okay, so everything is ready, it's time to code. So usually when I work on the website projects, I divide the main page into the different smaller units so that I could work on it separately, one by one. So part one HTML, part one CSS, part two HTML and part two CSS, for example, and it takes a lot of time. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos and most of most of them were writing the HTML code as a whole at first and then do the styling later. So I think I'm going to follow that structure today. So let's see if it's going to save my time. So first of all, I'm dividing the main page. My website is going to be uh, just one long page. So I think I have to divide the parts in order to um, make everything tidy. So first of all, let me add it. Okay guys, so it's 5 a.m. right now and I'm so tired, I'm going to sleep. I tried to write the HTML code first and then do the styling, but I'm, I think I'm too used to my own writing style, like dividing it one by one. So I did the navigation bar and the main content of my landing page. Uh, it looks like this now. And I'm not happy with the result, but I think it's fine for now. I'm going to, maybe I'm going to change the color or things later. So I think it's enough for me today. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay guys, so I'm back. Now it's 8, 10 p.m. and I think I'm going to dive right into my coding. But uh, before that, for like 20 minutes, I would like to work on my design for my background because initially I did it with the like red blurry spot, but one of my friends said that it was not looking that good. So I had to make changes and I tried with a lot of colors, but none of them were looking good to my eyes. So I made it a little bit pinky. So now it's pink and I hate the color. So it doesn't look good to me, so I'm going back to the red and maybe I'll just reduce the opacity or something like that. I will do very minimal changes and then we will start on the coding part. Okay guys, I'm done with my coding part. <laughs> now the time is 3.29 a.m. which means I have spent seven or eight hours on this part. I um, actually finished everything about two hours ago, but my website looked so empty and ugly since I didn't do much during my university years. So I added honors and awards section 
and extracurriculars and contribution section so that I could add some of the projects that I did, uh, events that I organized during my high school years. So now it looks somewhat enough for me. So yeah. Okay, so next up, I'm going to make some text adjustment because I need to add some description on my extracurriculars part. So yeah, after that, I'll go into the debugging. Okay, as you guys can see, it's already morning, now it's 7 a.m. and I'm done with everything, including device adjustment. So now we just need to push everything to our root directory so that I could uh, deploy my website on my GitHub. Okay, so CD desktop, the portfolio, uh, Git status. Okay, so I already used git add dot, so now I just need to um, um, write a message. Done! Yay! Okay, and git push. Okay, now everything's done. So everything, every code, everything is now in my GitHub, so I can deploy it finally. So yay, let's go. Now we're done. So I purchased the domain name uh, from Namecheap. It was $10 for a year, so I think it was a pretty good deal. And then I connected the domain name server with my GitHub, and then I deployed it. So my website is working right now. It looks clean and in the correct way. However, as you guys can see, my background is not loading. I don't know what could be the problem, but I will try to fix it later because I'm pretty tired right now. I had so much fun building this with you guys because documenting everything was quite um, motivational and inspirational push up for me. So yeah, thanks for coding with me. Thanks for coding with Tree. So yeah, see you at the next one. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.